When will he stop, they asked. When will quite stop making NFT videos, they chorused. And he answered, I'm the same as people who sell NFTs. I'll stop when they stop making me money. Hi again, guys, and welcome back to the inside of someone's belly. I regret to inform you that you were bored in your sleep. Let's skip the pleasantries. I want to go big with this NFT video. I'm treating it like Five Nights at Freddy's. People thought it should have ended after a trilogy, and then the fourth one comes out and ends up being one of the best. I think I can safely say I don't know a single real-life person who likes NFTs, at least in their current form, yet companies keep trying to be early adopters regardless, and people aren't quiet about shitting on those companies when they do. So basically today I just want to have a laugh at some of my favorite examples. And if you like this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to a playlist of every video I've ever made on NFTs, which is a surprising amount at this point. I'm not gonna make a stupid promise like, this is the last time, I swear, because it's not, but if you're looking for more stuff like this video, or just something to binge for me, that's a pretty good place to get started. Also, for this weekend, until the 7th, you can use code QUITE for a limited time to get 30% off your order on G Fuel. I genuinely use this shit like every day, it's the first thing I do in the morning. If you want some recommendations, uh, I've been having a lot of this Tetris Blast candy flavor, it's really good. And also this new Naruto Sage Mode one they sent me. Mmm, very delicious. If you do buy, it's much appreciated and you're helping out the channel when you do, so thank you for putting up with my shilling. Let's just start with social media, because that's where I waste most of my time already. Twitter recently made a big feature change, where you can now set NFTs as your profile pictures. And to show off the fact that your profile picture is now an NFT, the shape of it will change to a hexagon. This of course led to thousands of people faking that shit, either as a bit or to make fun of people who did it thinking it was actually cool, usually a mix of both. Some people just said fuck it and made their profile pictures into completely unique shapes. I mean, when in Rome, you might as well make it an Among Us character, right? I just don't understand the choice of using a hexagon for it. Like, it's a worse shape than a circle. Why would you pay for something that makes your profile look less fuckable? The square to a circle was already a downgrade on Twitter's part, and now we have this. Other corporations did get some free marketing likes off it though. Twitter was trying to be all cute by tweeting, good morning, looking for an NFT profile picture, like shut up you dumb bitch. And Uno just came in with that three letter ratio. Ugh. Clean kill boys, the blood blends in with the red already on the card. Uh, we also had a second NFT Twitter ratio. This one might be fake, but it involves my boyfriend Springtrap, and it's funny so I'm gonna pretend. Burger King, thinking about a chicken fries NFT, and then a shitty PNG of an animatronic does a ratio on it seven times over. YouTube, for their part, always making me mad by breathing in the wrong direction, didn't even have to try that hard to get people pissed at them. In an open letter, Mrs. Wojcicki said they were always focused on expanding the YouTube ecosystem to help creators capitalize on emerging technologies, including things like NFTs. Cue the internet shitstorm, they didn't even say how they were gonna do it. They were just immediate calls to take the website behind the shed and stuff a grenade in its mouth. I think some of the funniest instances of what is essentially the NFT red scare, you know, where you're afraid anybody around you, your friends, your family, your neighbors, could secretly be a crypto head, when it's just a complete false alarm like with Shonen Jump. So Shonen, the guys who run One Piece, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and a fuck ton of other popular series, sent out this tweet that was obviously meant to get people excited. Soon you'll be able to show your Shonen Jump love in a whole new way. Exciting announcement tomorrow. And it got people excited, just like in the exact opposite direction than they probably wanted. Because it's been a trend as of late, people were just shitting themselves afraid that they were about to be spoon-fed NFTs by the holder of so much of their favorite media. And the replies to that tweet were, to say the least, vicious. They'd left nothing up for interpretation. If this is NFTs, I am canceling my subscription. I'm never buying anything with your company name on it ever again if this is NFT bullshit. I am warning you now that if I see an NFT, I will cancel my subscription. Piracy will also be absolutely on the table for affordable slash accessible manga if it means I don't support pyramid scheme scams that hurt the environment. Y you get the picture, and it wasn't a pretty one. Shonen got the message too, and put our fears to rest with three words. It's not NFTs, smiley face. I'm gonna be honest, I never even ended up hearing what the actual announcement was. I think it was clothes or something, I don't remember. I just can't imagine being the social media manager when all that shit was happening. I would have changed my underwear multiple times in the four hours between those two official tweets. This whole thing is riding on your back. How do you respond to that? Do you keep quiet and just let the announcement speak for itself? Do you defuse the situation? Some people joked that it was meant to be NFTs, but they saw the amount of people saying they'd burned shown into the ground if it was. So to save face, they had to think of some shit to say instead before they ended up getting murked in cold blood. The guy running the Twitter was probably barricading his windows before they got the all clear to tell the public that the announcement wasn't a monkey luffy. Now, out of all the NFT stuff I've ever seen, this next one is probably the only one I've actually been angry about, and it was when Stan Lee came back from the grave to promote an NFT of a character he made. I don't think I need to explain to you why this makes your bowels turn to mush when you look at it. It's like doing 
doing TikTok dances on somebody's grave. The worst part is that this isn't even some instance where folks are stealing something they don't own and turning it into an NFT unofficially, or even some fan work that is at least maybe kinda sorta in tribute barely. It's the official account of the now dead Stanley, strung up like a mannequin used to promote this piece of shit. I'm sure Stan would love this if he could see it now. I need to sprinkle a little bit of positive news in here, just for my sake. In an increasingly rare moment where Kanye took a W, he said in the most Kanye way possible, shut the fuck up about NFT shit. My focus is on building real products in the real world. Real food, real clothes, real shelter. Do not ask me to do a fucking NFT. Yay. Ask me later. Stop asking me to do NFTs. I'm not finna cosign. For now, I'm not on that wave. I make music and products in the real world. This comes with the big caveat that this is only a temporary Kanye win. It's in limbo because he said for now. The thing is with Ye, you just kind of have to take what you can get. It's either this tentatively good news or him threatening to beat the shit out of Pete Davidson. If anybody else was doing this, by the way, I would imagine that they were rubbing their hands together feeling creative as fuck with that they wrote down their message in all caps on a piece of printer paper and then just posted a picture of it to Instagram to tell us how much they hated NFTs instead of just saying they look fucking ugly on Twitter like a normal person. But with Kanye, I can absolutely believe that in his brain, this was physically the only way he could share this message. Now, you guys know I'm a bit of a gamer if I do say so myself. And games are like the most tech-driven medium I can think of. They are so intertwined with the technology behind crypto that people who play them are actively suffering as a result of crypto. Because people keep yoinking graphics cards as soon as they go on sale to mine crypto, just jacking the prices up to high fucking heaven. And because the tips of crypto and gaming's penises are so close to touching, it's prime real estate for companies to try and worm NFTs into their products to make some money. And I mean, they already kind of have in a way. In-game economies with real-world money value have existed for ages, and the rise of microtransactions and loot boxes fucking my wallet out the asshole is not a secret. Like, do you know how much money I've spent on Halo Infinite cosmetics? I hope not, because it's an embarrassing number. Let's start small, the folks who were remaining speculative about it and not jumping in forehead first. Nintendo, for once, is not pissing me off. Doesn't change the thousands of songs they recently struck off YouTube despite not creating the official way to listen to that music. You know, essentially destroying the only way to enjoy those tracks. But, in an interview, they said they had an interest in NFTs. But only so far in as they are with all emerging tech, that they are waiting to see if there's actually something there that they can provide joy with. Waiting to see what can even really be done with that technology in the future. This one's definitely on the less egregious side, but this little browser game I used to play a lot, Crunker, apparently started trying to sell NFTs in their marketplace. And it's funny because this YouTuber I watch, Strixo, just took four seconds out of a video that was otherwise singing the game's praises and jerking its dick to clench that penis painfully so it didn't get too comfortable with its position. Good stuff. Speaking of the marketplace, no one wants to buy your stupid fucking NFTs. Shut up. If you don't know what NFTs are, good. Just know that they're really stupid. Strixo is an underrated channel, by the way. If you like people talking about games and shit, he talks about them all nice-like and shit. A trigger warning here for mention of League of Legends. Riot Games, the developers of League, had a kerfuffle with NFTs recently, too. Again, it seems like it was one of those accidental ones, which is what makes it fun to laugh at. Basically, there's a character at Valorant named Killjoy, and she's from Berlin, Germany, one of those countries where they talk funny, and she's also big into tech. So the German Valorant Twitter posted a picture of Killjoy admiring some computer-generated art by an artist from Berlin. That's nothing too bad, until folks found out that that piece was an NFT and predictably lost their shit. So the Twitter account had to make a Notes app apology in two different languages to let people know that it was just an accident. Whoopsie. We're always trying to give you new experiences and interesting facts on our local channels, including a look into Killjoy and her hometown of Berlin. Since Killjoy loves programming, we wanted to introduce you to computer-generated art from around the world. However, we were not aware that the selected work was an NFT. In no way did we intend to include NFTs as part of Killjoy's work in hobbies. Just the idea of a fictional character in a video game enjoying NFTs fictionally as a hobby is enough to get this reaction out of the community. I'm honestly just glad people are committed to this level over this stuff. It's very impressive. Though I imagine that Riot was somewhat grateful that this is what they were in the news for for once. You know, instead of League of Legends being the biggest drug epidemic in the world ahead of even the opioid crisis. So this last entry is a bit long, winding, and somewhat funny in how desperate it comes across at times. And that is the meandering tale of Ubisoft and its attempts to get us to like and buy its NFTs. So in early December, Ubisoft starts this thing called Quartz, and it's basically their NFT initiative for games. I don't know why they named it that, it sounds funky I guess, but the specifics aren't important. The first game they started releasing NFT items for was Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which, if you didn't know, is dead as shit. That way, if it all goes south, it's no biggie. It's not like they ruined the community of a well-liked game, they can do that part later. Fast forward a few weeks to like right before Christmas and surprise, shit didn't do well. They've sold a total of like 15 items in the store by then, which I guess isn't helped by the fact that it's a game that most of you probably 
haven't even heard of at this point. Maybe it would have been more successful and something that people liked a little bit more. But despite the store shitting the bed up till that point, around that same time, Ubisoft doubled down and said they're hearing all the complaints and taking them into account to make sure they do this right, yada yada. But essentially that NFTs are still the way of the future, which I've said before, isn't entirely a lie. They very well could still be a big thing going forward, whether we want them to or not. Then we get to like just last week where any pretense of amicability between Ubisoft and the people they're sucking and fucking the money out of, you know, us, is completely gone. In an interview, they basically just said, we're too stupid to understand. But don't worry, because they'll help us little idiots learn. Ubisoft is accustomed to such immediately negative responses, and said video game fans don't get what a digital secondary market can bring to them. Aw, oh, that's my bad. We just don't get it, guys. How could I be so stupid? Now that he's told me my brain can't handle the truth, I've decided to just trust Ubisoft on this one. Because trusting them about shit has always worked out well for us in the past. Anyways, that's all the fake rage for the sake of making ad money I have for you today. That end card should be on screen right now if you need more for your fix. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on if you enjoyed, and don't go after anyone I talked about in this video because that's cringe. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I'll see you when I visit you and your mother later.